What I did to improve my English listening skills without pushing myself. My starting point. At my starting point, point when I heard speech of native speakers, I couldn't even separate one word from another. I, can, I could only understand some prepositions and pronouns. I couldn't even get the whole uh, meaning of the videos for English learners, although these videos are made specifically for learners and they are much more simpler, but I could understand maybe only from 20 to 30 percent of what was said. I could understand only Russian speakers who speak in English slowly. My name is Anton. Every morning I usually get up at 7 o'clock without pushing myself. I didn't need to do two things at the same time. It's not productive. I understood that I didn't want to overcome my bad habits at the same time when I improving my English skills. Otherwise, I had much less English listening practice. So, I took some simple things that don't require a lot of energy for me in order not to waste time in pushing myself. My strategy. Simple actions on consistent basis. I decided to implement some simple things that I was comfortable to into my life. To be honest, first results didn't come right away at once. For some period of time it seemed to me that there weren't any results, but after two or three months I recognized that I eventually had some stable results. I noticed that I could understand about 50 or 60 uh, percent of what was said in English audio materials for English learners. Before uh, I started it was just 20 or 60 percent so I doubled my results and I decided just keep going. Tip number one or tool fun. Have fun when you learn English. I have to confess that firstly I neglected this advice and I tried to use children audiobooks but they seemed boring for me and I decided that I should use something that I'm really interested in even if I don't understand a lot. And my first audiobook was Fight Club by Jack Palahniuk. Although I didn't understand a lot, my interest to find out what's going on there was a fuel to continue to keep up. So eventually it worked out for me and I have listened to this book three times. And in the end of the third one, everything that was said there was quite clear for me. Tool number two, audiobooks, audio materials. I really like stories, but I have no time to read them all. And uh, I have other stuff to do, like home stuff, chatting on chatting, 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 chatting on Facebook, learning other things and just relaxing eventually. So I decided that audiobooks can be really cool tool to improve my English skills. I live in a big city and I spend a lot of time on the road, so I... <laughs> I live in a big city and I spend a lot of time on the road just waiting when I get from one point to another. So I decided that it's a good chance to use audiobooks. And one more thing that I love about audiobooks. They are quite long and I don't need to spend time every single day to choose a new one. And uh, I listen one audiobook from two to four times. It's enough for several months. Tool number three, voice screen. 
I have tried several apps for learning English, but I didn't find them useful for me. Except one. Was screen. Was screen. Was screen. What I love about this app is that it has prepared chunks from movies, TV serial, but they are very short. It's only one phrase. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. And you can master your listening on some specific sounds. And also, you don't uh, prepare and find the materials. This app is like Instagram, but it helps to improve your listening. You also can use it for practice shadowing. Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space in April 1961. It has all best benefits of social media. It's free. I can use it everywhere where I have a couple of free minutes. I can I improve my listening uh, when I'm in a line, in a shop, on a road, on a coffee break. It's available on desktop and mobile. Resolution. That's all tips, tools that I wanted to share with you. I found out them useful for me not watching videos on YouTube or movies, TV series. There is no universal method, but I hope that my story will help you to find your own way to improve your listening and encourage you to keep going. If you like this video, press like subscribe button, notification, bell. Uh, if you know someone who also wants to improve his or her English listening skills, send him this link. I hope, I really hope that this video will be useful for them. And bye for now. My name is Dmitry. 